What's going on? Been a little while since I've uploaded a video, but here I am doing a video. Um, my car broke down a couple of days ago. It's mostly sorted now. Uh, what happened was the back of the ignition 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 switch um, fell apart just out of nowhere. Trying to start my car, fell apart key didn't do anything after that so i ended up getting a new steering column for it that was fine that didn't take super long to do um but i have an issue no bueno so I'm going to go pick up some tools from work, come back home, and see what I can do about fixing that. Alright, I'm not sure what the, what the issue is, so it might be, I don't think it's down at the, sorry, I keep looking at the steering column itself. I don't think it's in the, any shaft play, I think it's in the column itself. I don't know. It might be. I don't actually know. It doesn't make sense that it would be because that's all splined. I'll show you the old piece that I pulled out. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll understand when you see that. Okay, so here's the old column. Um, obviously, steering wheel goes that end. That's towards your uh, steering rack. And this piece here goes towards your, uh, or between the rack and the, what's it called, the firewall, at the steering wheel, uh, not the steering wheel, the steering rack, goes like that, this slides in and out and stuff, that's the old key barrel and key for the new one, but you need to reuse your old key and barrel, goes in here, now what fucked up, now what broke is this circuit here, or this switchboard here, fell out. It's supposed to be in like that. Just fell out. Just gave up. So I'm not sure why. We actually managed to get this back together properly. And it still wasn't working. So I don't know what happened, but we went for a new column. And that fixed it. Now. This is the part that I was saying I don't think has any play in it because as you can see there are splines for days on it so I think this part's fine which is why I'm leaning towards maybe the steering wheel isn't done up correctly or tight enough. Alright now the first thing to do is when you're doing anything steering related is to make sure that your steering well, front wheels are as straight as possible. Now, I've had a quick look, and this needs to go down a little bit more. So I'm going to check that again, see where we're at, and then we can start pulling it apart. All right, so this is what the column looks like inside the car. Obviously, you can see a lot of wires and stuff. That's mostly for the steering wheel controls. Coming out the back side of the clock spring. Um... Don't know what a clock spring is. I'll. You'll see it when I take the steering wheel off. So I'll explain it then. Right, I've just had a brainwave. See this here. So that splined shaft. Uh, the steering wheel turns out that's splined into the steering column. Um, that nut and the bolt, that bolt isn't done up the whole way. That's not ideal, so I'm going to start by tightening that. And see if that changes anything. I'm not sure that it will. Got my bag of tools here. I call it my man bag. It's like a handbag, but for men, you know, so. Alright, so I found a little bit of a way to, uh, 
get my phone to stay still while I film this. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be blocking the view, but I'm literally just doing up a bolt, so I'll give that a crack, and uh, if you can see it, then I'll leave it in. If you won't, then I'll probably leave it in anyway. I don't know, what's it? That's on do up. I don't need it for this. Alright, <laughs> right, well, that's worked. Alright, so I'm sitting here editing this video. Um, see this cable here? Um, I tidied that up after that video finished. Um, that's just for the auxiliary. I don't want anyone to freak out and be like, well, why'd you leave that cable just dangling around? because it's unsafe, because I know it's unsafe. Usually it's not dangling around. It's a lot neater now, and it's not gonna fall down again, so it's all good. So, that's that video. Uh, there's a few other things wrong with my car that I need to saw down as well, like that giant crack in the windscreen. That's for another day. All right, I'm gonna go finish editing this video and get uploaded. Um, I'll see you in the next one.